Today we're going to talk about the 1990 Topps Tiffany baseball card set, okay? Hey guys, before we get started, I want to show you the two cards that I'm going to be giving away in this video to two of my subscribers, okay? Now you got to keep watching the video to see how to, en to, see how to enter, all right? Now both the cards are from the 1990 Topps Tiffany set. Um, it's the Ozzie Smith National uh, All-Star National League and the Ryan Sandberg All-Star National League. Both graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, great cards to have, great players, uh, great condition. Look at this, this, the centering on these are both beautiful. The backs are pristine looking. So if you want to know how to enter, keep watching the video and I'm going to show you how, all right? I just love these Top Tiffany cards, you guys. Look at the shine on this. Like you can tell, high quality, beautiful. Look at that Ozzy Smith. Look at that stand. See, I love these portraits, these player portraits. So I decided to purchase a Topps Tiffany set online and open it for you guys and let you know or let you see what's inside these boxes that are pretty expensive, in my opinion, for 90s cards, baseball cards. This set, this Topps Tiffany set, it just it has a gorgeous case to it. Look at that. If you can see it, it has the gold foil letters on it. It has the, the gold seal on the front. All the Topps Tiffany's have the gold seal. And you, you know if it's have been open or not because they're impossible to re-stick once they do. So if you pull it, the red stuff is not supposed to come off. Like if any comes off, then it's been resealed. So if you purchase one of these sets, make sure that when you open it, none of that red stuff comes off. It's not supposed to do that. The, 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 the stuff that they used on the inside of that prevented that to, from happening. And, uh, and I'll show you in the video when I open mine. Uh, what what, it, what exactly it did, but like I said, it's not supposed to have that. It's not supposed to tear any of the box off of it. So, uh, and if it does, then you should um, take the further steps to investigate on what the car, if the cards, if it's an authentic sealed or not. Okay, and so it's enough said about that. Uh, but anyway, there's on the bottom, you're going to see the uh, serial number. Whoops, which all the top Tiffany sets are serial numbered. The most common set is the 1987 Top Tiffany, and there's 30,000 sets of those, and that has the Barry Bonds in it, which I'm going to be opening a video. I have four of those sets, and I'm going to be opening them in future videos, so stay posted for that. But today, we're going to talk about the 1990 Top Tiffany baseball card set, okay? Let's get, let's get into it. All right, guys, so when you get these Tiff Top Tiffany sets in the mail, you want to make sure they're well packaged. You don't want to... Uh, um, you, you, and you want to make sure the seller is charging the appropriate amount to ship them. Um, free shipping is okay as long as the price, the buy it now price isn't too low. But uh, you, you don't want your t top Tiffany set being jottled around in a, a loose box. So uh, this this packaging was okay. I mean, they had air pillows. They had some cardboard in it to prevent shifting. shifting and it was packaged in this, uh, this pretty solid uh, cardboard box <laughs> so i was happy with shipping um you want to inspect it for damage if, is there any uh possibly from dropping um a dents in the box from being dropped or uh, out of the truck or another box damaging the sides um as you can see i really don't have to worry about it with this box but I, i've seen some some damage and then you guys have to work it out with the seller if there was uh, as far as di refunds or discounts. You open it up, look at that, beautiful. Look at that gold foil. I was, I think I was skeptical on this set on whether um, it, it was genuinely factory sealed or, sealed or not. So I was hesitant to touch the, the label. And that's why I was recording, is for proof if the, the seal did um, look uh, pull off suspiciously. Like it was glued down or taped or whatever so I wanted to record it and then to, for proof evidence so I slowly pulled it back nothing's looking shady no super glue no evidence of Elmer's glue or nothing you want to look real close pull it real slow uh, this is a $300 investment and you don't want it to go down the drain if, if by some shady dealer I'm not saying they're by some shady dealer trying to pull a fast one on you opening the set filtering through it, finding uh, all the cards were miscut or whatever, and then gluing the 
seal back, but that wasn't the case in this. So I went ahead and opened it up. And one major thing you want to look at is all the colors, are all the colors together. That's how you know it hasn't been searched so far. That's a great sign. Um, you want to pull the first card out and inspect it. Make sure it's an actual Topps Tiffany. And how you know is that it's going to have glossy service, surface and it's going to have a nice white back cardstock. These Topps Tiffany cards are much more um, high quality than a regular issue Topps. And you can tell when you hold it in your hand how how nice it is. So you want to look at the first card, inspect it for any damage, how, look at the corners, look at the edges, inspect the second card. Is it a Topps Tiffany? Yes, it is. Um, no, you know, outrageous damage. There's a little nick in the corner, but that's okay. It's not too bad. Um, you just keep inspecting the cards, pulling them out. Now, stay away from the orange for now, because that's where the Frank Thomas is. You can stay in the blue. Uh, if you pull a Ken Griffey Jr. out, go ahead and um, sleeve that bad boy up. But I'm just looking through and making sure I don't see anything um, concerning, which so far so good. It's looking great. Don't drop the cards, obviously. <laughs> and then uh, just slowly start pulling them out until you can get your fat fingers up in there. And then uh, I like to start with the orange. Go ahead and get the Frank Thomas out of the way. As That's what I'm doing right now is... Uh, slowly pulling out um, individual cards. There's a, ni there's a nice looking Ozzy Smith. Go ahead and sleeve him up. Uh, the All Star. All right, guys. If you want to enter to win these two cards, one of these two cards, you can't win them both. Um, we're going to go out to two two separate winners. You have to do five things. All right. You got to like the video. You got to subscribe. Hit the notification button. You have to be a U.S. resident. Uh, sorry for all you non-U.S. residents. It's illegal to have a contest for other countries. And then lastly, for number five, you have to simply just comment below in the video, comment down below which card in this entire set is your favorite card and why. You can only pick one, and it has to be a genuine, authentic answer, okay? It can't just be a random card with a random uh, reason. Now, there's tons of great players and cards in this set. You got the Ken Griffey Jr., you got the Sammy Sosa, Jose Canseco, Barry Bonds, Mark McGuire, you got tons. The list goes on and on. Just simply comment below which is your favorite card and why. And two lucky winners are gonna win these uh, one of these cards. I'm gonna do a follow-up video on the winners 30 days from um, when I post this video. If you have any questions, just check out the description below and it's gonna tell you all the information you need to know, all right? Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. Uh, let's get back into the video. National League, yep. That's definitely a PSA 10 uh, candidate, or PSA candidate. And I pulled enough cards out, single cards, where I can fit my fingers in and get a nice little chunk. So, I mean, you can you can keep doing it individually. There, look at that, Larry Walker rookie card. Nice, dead center. That is definitely a PSA candidate right there. Nice Larry Walker. Now, those go for over $100, Jim Mint 10s. Gem and 10 condition. Uh, ooh, look at that. Nolan Ryan. That's the uh, the Mets. Yep, and now he's going to have five cards in this set, which in Gem and 10 condition, pretty valuable. Like 40, 50 bucks a piece. There's a nice looking Don Mattingly. PSA candidate, Jack Morris. Nice and centered. I just love these Top Stephanie cards, you guys. Look at the shine on this. Like you can tell, high quality, beautiful. Look at that Ozzy Smith. Look at that stand. See, I love these portraits, these player portraits, um, photos. They're just the borders. I like the green, um, the contrasting colors, the green, uh, the, I guess, name panels. And you got two turn back the clocks on here. That's a Sandy Koufax. And uh, Johnny Bench is the second one. Uh, there's another Nolan Ryan. Some more. Keep filtering. Boom. Look at that. Frank Thomas. Name on front. Um, Tops Tiffany card. Okay centering. Uh, I mean, the right side is looking a little thick. The top and bottom look dead, almost dead center. But the left to the right ratio, not great, but not bad either. Not too bad. I'm happy with that card, with that Frank Thomas. Now, Jim and 
10 condition, that Frank Thomas rookie can go upwards up to uh, five to $600. And th this right here, this card right here is what makes the set essentially. But there's so many other cards in the set. You see at the end of the video, I'll do a recap of all the PSA candidates I pulled. Um, but I'm, going, I'm looking at this Frank Thomas, looking at the uh, edges, the corners. Double checking, making sure that there's nothing major wrong with it. And it's beautiful. It's at least a, a mint nine, which I'm happy with. That's, a mint nine is going to run about 150 bucks, I believe. 100, maybe more than that. But that alone is almost going to pay for this box. There's a nice Kyle Ripken. Nice and centered, yep. That's a candidate. Uh, Randy Johnson, this one's off center, but it's a second year card, I believe. Second year card, yeah. This rookie was 89. Some more blue. There's a Ken Griffey. Another hot card in this set, guys. But this one's off center. Um, but still, it's, a, it's probably at least a mint nine, which is not bad for a Ken Griffey Jr. Tops Tiffany, 1990. Good luck finding one of those on eBay. Um, not graded uh, for a good price. There's two of the, the, the big cards in the set, the Griffey and the, the uh, Frank Thomas. That's pretty much the reason these sets are selling, which I, I think they're uh, extremely undervalued right now. So undervalued for what you get. There's a Barry Bonds. Um, decent centering. Not bad, not terrible. Some of these cards have pretty bad centering, so I'm glad none of the uh, major stars had any bad uh, centering. I got, a, I got a pretty good box. I'm happy with it. Uh, it was a great investment. Great time pulling these cards, looking through them all. Howard Johnson. Tons of cards in the set. And the cards that I don't submit, I, I, I just leave them in the set and then store it. I don't worry about sleeving them up and putting them in the top loader. I just leave them in the box, um, store it in the closet, and save it for the future when I'm Trying to fill some PSA candidates in. I'll just pull some random cards from here, from, this, from these sets. Um, I'm looking for the Sammy Sosa right now, I believe. Sammy Sosa's in the green. Also, who else is in the green? I can't think of it. Juan Gon Gonzalez. Juan Gonzalez is a hot rookie in here. And Bernie Williams. That's probably who I'm looking for. All in greens, I believe. The green color. There's a Juan Gonzalez I totally missed. Pascual Perez, I should have pulled him out. <laughs> uh, Jim Abbott, all-star rookie. Who else? Kirk Gibson, was that? And I'm kind of being me messy. I, I, got, I got off of work. Um, I saw the box. I've been waiting for the box forever. The, the guy took forever to ship it to me. And I, I was in a hurry because I was trying to beat my, my, my wife home. My wife and my 14-month-old, um, before they got home, I was trying to hurry up and break it, break this box. I don't know why. I, I should have waited. But there's a Sammy Sosa off-center. Still going to be a mint nine. All these cards, for the most part, 90% of this box is, is going to grade at least a mint nine. Which is, you know, which is, you can't really ask more uh, more than that. Especially with these Topps Tiffany cards. Mint 9s, are, they're all okay. Collectors are okay with with uh, getting the Mint 9s. Now, yeah, pre pre preferably... The, the, okay, here's the recap. You got the Ozzie Smith. You got the Kyle Ripken Jr. Don Mattingly. George Brett. Nice, look at that center. Roger Clemens. Deion Sanders. Craig Biggio. You got the record breaker. Kyle Ripken Jr. And, ooh, look at that. Ricky Henderson, record breaker. You got the Nolan Ryan base card. And then you got these 5,000K, the, the Mets, the Rangers, uh, the, the, whoops, the Angels, the Mets. Anyway, the four on the Ryan, there's a Barry Bonds. There's a Mark McGuire, off-center, but okay. There's a nice-looking Bo Jackson. 
Jose Canseco, Ken Griffey Jr., DeLarry Walker, rookie, pretty good centering, Dwan Gonzalez, rookie, the Bernie Williams, okay, so those two are the green, and then the Sammy Sosa, the Sammy Sosa was the green, okay, centering, and to finish it off is the Frank Thomas. So there you go, guys. Um, actually, you know what? I got some runners up, runner ups too. But look how good that good looking that Frank Thomas is. I, I wish I could take it out of the sleeve and show you guys get get closer, but I don't want to risk it. But here's the run. Here are the runner up cards. Um, let's see here. All right, guys. Here are the runner ups. I got the Randy Johnson, the nice looking Eric Davis, the Kurt Schilling, Carlton Fisk, <laughs> Wade Boggs, the Howard Johnson, the Jack Morris, the Jim Abbott. Ryan Sandberg. Ooh, look at that. Ricky Henderson. I wish it was more centered, but... The Greg Maddox. Nah, I wish that was more centered, too. The Straub, Daryl Strawberry. Tony Gwynn. The National League. The All-Star Cards. Look at the Will Clark. The Eric Davis. The Eric Davis actually looks pretty good. The Ozzie Smith looks pretty good as well. Those are probably some good candidates. The Ryan Sandberg. The National League looks pretty good. All these look pretty good for the most part. The Kirby Puckett. The American League. Wade Boggs, the Robin Yunt, Carlton Fisk. Which having that whole set car of cards graded would be awesome, I think. PSA 10s. And then the Sandy Koufax and the Johnny Bench turn back the clock cards. Tons of potential in these um, Topps Tiffany sets. Now, if this was base set Topps, geez, oh, Pete, the, the value would be literally cut in, in a quarter. by qu Yeah, a quarter. Uh... There's just no value in regular issue tops. It's the tops Tiffany sets, and like I said, I paid around two seventy. This is with shipping for this entire set, and depending on the grades, but of these cards, I'll easily get my money back. Um, now, especially if I hold on to them in ten years, who knows what they're going to be worth? But what's crazy is these tops Tiffany sets are serial numbered, and like I showed you in the bottom, um, there's a limited print run, which makes them. Uh, the supply and demand, obviously, uh, economics, the price more valuable. All right, guys. So I'm at Wikipedia.org, and I simply typed in Topps Tiffany, and you can see right here it says from 1984 to 1991, Topps released a limited edition version of both the regular and traded sets called Tiffany sets. These sets were released in the hobby dealer exclusive factory set format only and are identical to the regular cards. But they were printed in Ireland with white cardboard instead of that then heavy um, standard gray cardboard and has a glossy finish in the front. Uh, the color of the inner boxes the Tiffany sets came in as well as the estimated number of sets produced according to the annual Beckett price guide are, and it shows right here the uh, print runs, which 84 I guess is undetermined, 85 is 5,000 sets, 1986 is 5,000 sets, 87 is the most popular with 30,000 sets, not popular but populated with 30,000 sets, 88 has 25, 89 is 15, 90 has 15,000 sets. So, and then 91 is unknown, but believed to be the lowest print run of all, which under 5,000 sets. So 91, uh, in my opinion, is the most valuable, obviously because of supply and demand. And then, um, there's a toss up between 84, 85, and 86. 86 is pretty cool. That's a great, that's a pretty good set with black borders. They're uh, super tough to get gem and tens in. And then the, the set I'm breaking today is only 15,000 sets. Tops made the Tiffany sets. They weren't actually called, Tops didn't call them Tiffany. Um, that, that, I'm not sure where that name was came from, but it just, like there's no, nowhere on the box can, it, it, can you see the word Tiffany. They're just, collectors have called it that, it acquired that name over the years. And tops never intended for them to be for sale. Although you could, you could acquire them through magazines. Um, I'm not sure what sets were, were available through magazines, but they were given to card shop owners to promote the the top sets. They were never in, uh, put in packs, and they never were never put in boxes. They were only available in factory sealed sets, and they came in cases of six, I believe. Um, they were also they also came in the 19 um, tops traded uh, sets as well. All right, guys, let's go look at these sets on eBay. Uh, let's just type in tops.
Tiffany factory sealed. Let's see what we get. So you can see there's an 88 Topps Tiffany, um, United Kingdom, Ireland for 1750. I actually have three of those I opened. And then there's the blue ones, the 1991. Ooh, look at that. $1,000. There's four sets right there. There's a traded. The traded uh, boxes are smaller, obviously. They've, they have 132 cards. And there's the 87, which is the purple. 88 is the green. The 86 is the brown. There's the 90, or 890. 84. It's red, but it doesn't have the texture on it like the 90, 1990 does. Um, and as you can see, they're pretty pricey. All these sets. The uh, most affordable one is going to be the 87 and 88, I believe. Yeah, 125. You can get that one if you bid on it for 1988. I don't see any 1990. Let's look at the sold ones. Okay, you can see the 1985 factory sealed right here. Tip 85 set sold for 1375. Buy it now. That one 1500. Um, 1984 sold for 600. Well, that was a good one right there. Buy it now. Oh, that's not fact. That's not factory. Oh, it is. But the box is in rough shape. So it's probably more likely some damage done on the inside because these boxes are really thin. Um, with the exception of the 1990. The 1990 set has uh, a unique box. Um, all these other ones have th thin cardboard that separates them, which makes them flimsy. You want, you want to get to one that are factory sealed like this, that way you can tell um, no damage has been done. Like if the shrink wrap isn't ripped or torn or smudged, more than likely there's damage hasn't been done. Okay, so you guys can um, check this, let's see what the 1990 is. Okay, here you go, guys. Here's the 1990 Top Tiffany sealed set. Sold for 250, 20 shipping, 270. I think that's one I got actually. Uh, this one sold at auction for 357. Sold at auction for 309. So yeah, yeah. See, I got a, I got a bargain. 250. That's why I jumped on it when I saw the other one. Um, he had two listed and one sold, and I jumped on the other one and bought it for 250. Uh, this guy got a good deal. The set, the buyer. Ooh, in factory plastic, that's good. So not many sets. And here's the uh, Frank Thomas PSA 10, sold at $521, 25 bids. Um, there's a Mint 9, it sold for $104, 21 bids. So uh, if it comes back, there's a Mark McGuire PSA 10, $66. There's a Ken Griffey for 57 but PSA Mint 9. All right, guys, let's go ahead and look at auction prices realized for the 1990 Topps Tiffany baseball card set. Go ahead and hit the 10, and it's going to show you all the Jim Mint 10s. So these Nolan Ryans, those, um, you got five Nolan Ryans, 50, 25, 30, so it looks like the most popular one is the Rangers, I mean the Rangers uniform. Um, $51 Edgar Martinez, $200 Don Mattingly, Nine have sold. Two hundred dollars is the highest. Juan Gonzalez rookie, one hundred and four dollars. Eighteen have sold. Ken Griffey Jr. seventy-two have sold with four hundred and thirty dollars being the highest. Let's go ahead and look at this. Um, yeah, look at these prices. So that Ken Griffey Jr. four hundred thirty dollars recent. BWCC sold one for $7.35. Probstein sold one for $5.98. Four Sharp Corners, dang, sold one for $783. Buy it now, I bet. Yep, buy it now. That's a good store right there. I love going to Four Sharp Corners. So you can see the Ken Griffey Jr. in Gem Mint 10 is... You get your money back if you for, for the box. If, for the money you invested on the box, you'll get it back in one card if you can find a Gem Mint 10. Now, if you get a Mint 9... You're looking at 76, 68, 77, 60, 57. So if you're patient, you can probably sell for 75, 75 bucks. A mint nine, Ken Griffey Jr. Frank Thomas draft pick rookie card, $477, 127 have sold. 
That's the biggest card in the set. Let's keep scrolling. Daryl Strawberry, you got a Mark McGuire, you got a Sammy Sosa. All kinds of stars in here that Bernie Williams and Jim Mint 10, Larry Walker rookie, will get fetch you um, a, a nice little profit. And let's go ahead and check out the pop reports, population reports, just to see how many are in existence. 2,770 PSA, Gen, PSA 10 Gem Mint condition cards out of 7,900, about 8,000 cards. 2,000 have been, 2,700 have been declared Gem Mint uh, condition. By PSA. So pretty good odds. Uh, your chances are, oh, not this for the Kurt Schilling. Look at that. Not very good for the Kurt. But look at this. Will Clark, you 30 have graded out of 35. So send in your Will Clarks and there'll be a gem at 10. Bo Jackson, that's another good one. 64 out of 79 have been PSA graded or PSA 10. All right, you guys get the picture. You, you can come and check this out if you want. Um, so um, look around online for these sets, guys. Uh, if you see them, I suggest picking them up. If you if you can find this 1990 Topps Tiffany set for, shoot, I would say between 250 to $300, I would say that's a good deal. That's, oh, that's a good deal, uh, depending on how frisky you're feeling. Now, um, keep in mind, it's very important with the, the how the centering looks on these cards if, and um, the, what the grade you get. If they come back eights or below, you're probably gonna lose money on it. Um, but if they come back nines and above, if you have a good set that's been cut really good, you're gonna be you're gonna be um, it's gonna be profitable, good money. Uh, it's also it's fun to do. It's history. You're, you're breaking here. Um, I'm, I felt bad breaking the seal because it, it's like. Now there's only you know four thousand nine hundred ninety nine sealed sets left, <laughs> sealed sets left in the world or whatever maybe two thousand. Um, if this was the last remaining set, uh, you know, uh, what, what would the price be? But uh, you know, in order to get the cards, you gotta you gotta crack that seal. So I wish they made sets like this now. I wish they made Top Tiffany sets. Um. um in today's hobby. All right, guys, break's over with. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be doing more breaks like this, buying older car, uh, older baseball cards, basketball cards, football, whatever it may be, stuff that um, is going, flies under the radar, and people uh, aren't really paying attention to, in my opinion, when they should be. Um, but, you know, this is just uh, my opinion, so doesn't mean it doesn't make it right or wrong. For that matter so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um let me know in the comments below what you think about this set and what do you what do you think about the cards and the investment potential long term long term short term uh do you guys own a set are you waiting to break it have you already broken it uh did you pull any good cards from it and uh, yeah stay posted for for uh, future videos guys all right thanks for watching thanks for commenting i'll see you next time